Hello there, welcome back guys. I'm here again in LEGO Worlds with the Titanic, but this time we are going to be attempting to sink it. Um, yeah, so don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Okay, well, I guess everyone watching this knows the story of the Titanic, or at least has it like a vague idea of how it goes, which is uh, basically it hit the iceberg on its first uh, voyage, and it like kind of tipped up on end and snapped in half and just kind of sank. Or at least that, that's how it's always portrayed. But recent findings have suggested that there'd been a fire on the ship since it sailed, uh, which was burning at over a thousand degrees C. So this of course weakened the hull, you know, like the steel joints and the and the rivets. So when it did hit the iceberg you know, the damage was much greater than it otherwise would have been. So, before we sink it, you know, we're going to have to uh, recreate the, the famous Titanic arm spread thing at the front. Whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm not quite sure how that's going to go. We don't even have any rails on. Okay. Maybe we should put some rails on quickly. How are we going to do this? I don't even know. I can't even remember what they look like. We'll just we'll just make something up. That'll do. Don't want them too high. Yes, so we're going to be finding out whether this ship is, in fact, unsinkable, which will be interesting. And I'll tell you after why it is I'm doing this. It all makes sense in the end. Okay, we want some kind of thing to join up. So my other Titanic video, people were asking me if I like the Titanic, or if I was a Titanic lover, I think is what was actually said. Um, I don't know if that has some other kind of meaning, but I've never even, I've never even watched the film, and I don't plan to, because quite frankly, I really don't give a shit about the Titanic, I'm afraid. Okay. Nearly done. Right, that will do. Okay, how are we going to do the arm spread? That is the question. What have we, what have we got? Um... Maybe when he, if you get him to do that like big wave, where both his arms go up, you might get a slight moment where his arms are kind of like up, like they are in the film. But he didn't seem to want to do it today. Come on. Wow, well, there we go. That might have been our thumbnail right there. I'm not sure. Maybe we should see if there's any props that we could use. Um, objects. Oh, maybe this will work. 
depending on whereabouts we sit on this bench. Well, look at his arms. That's close enough, I think. I wonder if this will work. Probably won't really. Um, so we put that right. Ah, oh, beautiful. Just uh, stick it out the side of the ship there, but you know, he, he gives a shit. And uh, we maybe need to move it to the right a little bit, and a bit higher for that perfect dank thumbnail. Oh, let's not fall off, bloody hell. Yep, okay. It's nice uh, gainer backflip, front backflip things. If you go like, uh, I can't do it now. Come on. There we go. That was just a backflip, but you know, obviously, that's a, uh, I don't know, I think they call it a gainer. All right then, so now is the time to sink the ship. So the best way to do it is to set set it on fire, damage the hull a bit. Let's put a let's put a nice old bit of uh, lava on there. Might heat things up a bit. Right there, where it burnt in half. See if we can deal with that. Then, what we need is an iceberg. It needs to be quite big. So, we don't have icebergs, but we can, we can kind of create our own. This might take a while. Yeah, this is taking a while. Bloody hell. Could be a s small iceberg. Yeah, so one of the... A woman that actually survived said um, that there was a fire. So I think that's kind of where they came up with that theory. But I think it has actually, I think it's been proved somewhat. I mean, I guess we don't know exactly what happens because it's uh, at the bottom of the ocean, whatever ocean it is. And, or well, you can't really get there. I mean, James Cameron, he went in that submarine. That was like the deepest anyone's ever been. So, uh, you know, I don't think people have been investigating the Titanic wreckage too much. Well, we have a little bit of an iceberg going on here. Let's rip hole in the side of the ship. I'm so sorry, Titanic. But it's time for you to die. So it's still, it's still too small, I think. I think the I think the iceberg was supposed to be quite huge. Okay, this is going to be a 2017 iceberg. You know, it's almost all melted, so I think that's big enough. What colour? Snow.
Yeah, that's, that is a pretty small iceberg. I don't think that would do much damage at all. The boat, I'm pretty sure the boat would just push out of the way. But I mean, ice is quite dense, I think. And hard, so... It's possible. Let's put a bit more on. It'll be, big, it'll be better if you could make this tool bigger. It's too small. Right, I'm pretty sure in early access, I think you used to be able to like make the tools pretty huge. It was good. Like building was quick, but now it's like it's pissing them out doing a little tiny bit at a time here. And this is as big as it will go. Oops, just painted a bit. I guess it's just scraped along the iceberg, got a bit of ice on it. So, well, we've hit the iceberg there, and it just, that's probably why it's unsinkable. This ship is actually unsinkable. Because it's actually grounded. Hmm. Well, so we've just discovered that the Titanic is unsinkable, but the reason I wanted to sink it was because I'm going to build a full scale one, so I think what we're going to do instead, we have to destroy it somehow. Da -da -da. Let's destroy the Titanic. How it should have been done. Whoa, nice frame drop. Is everybody ready? Say bye bye to your favorite ship. Oh, this feels so nice. Get rid of that chimney up there. Whoa, lots of explosions going on. Goodbye. Hey. run towards it. Well, I think we've done quite a good job there. We've destroyed half a ship already. In just a matter of seconds. Oh, let's get, get a bazooka. That won't do much damage. Well, I guess we might as well finish it off now. And then... I will get started on the new one. It's not the, you know, it's not going to be in this video because... It will take... Kind of... Quite a lot of planning. And... Because obviously this wasn't to scale. It was at a two-third scale, I think. Roughly. And obviously you couldn't go in it because of that. And we want to be able to go in it. So next time it's gonna be it's gotta be a full scale. How the Titanic should have ended. have some uh, Somalian pirates take it over 
Leonardo DiCaprio tries to save the ship, um, but then they just fire rockets at it and completely destroy it. Well, not much left now. I think uh, my tonic Titanic video has like almost 12,000 views I think which kind of came out of nowhere because it was released for a while didn't get that many views and then suddenly the last two weeks or something it suddenly started getting loads for whatever reason oops oh it didn't blow up that's okay I thought I was about to kill that dolphin there Oh, it was a little bit there. A little bit there. Oops, missed. Let's get the front over there. Well! Oops. Oops. I think that... is all of it. Apart from that little, that little bit right there. Let's quickly... Hmm, what am I going to title this video? That's a good question. How the Titanic should have ended. Sinking the Titanic. Blowing up the Titanic. Oh, jeez. It's, it's a tough one. Landscape. Well, obviously we can't just have a random hole in the sea. So... We just need to fix it up a little bit. What shape? We don't want that shape. How do you change shape? There we go. Ah, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. So, yes, I hope you um, enjoyed the destruction of the Titanic there. And I hope you stick around for when I finally do complete the full size version. Obviously I don't know when that's going to be. I'm still working on a Star Destroyer and Darth Vader's Castle. But probably a lot of you aren't even interested in that. If you're watching a Titanic video, let's be honest. Yeah, I think that's probably why it got more views, because Titanic is kind of like something that everybody knows, everybody's like, if everybody, you know, if anybody saw it, they'd be like, oh cool, that's that's a cool build in Lego Worlds. Whereas Star Wars stuff, you know, there's, there's probably a lot of people that don't really care. I mean, there'll be a lot of like, hardcore fans, but it's probably not as well known. I mean, it should be, the Millennium Falcon. It should be, you know, as well known as a Titanic, but it's probably not. So, there we go, that's all that's left. A bit of an iceberg and a nice bit of land. That's my Titanic memorial right there. Now, on LEGO Worlds, you can play you can play a, in a, like a game mode where... The changes that you make don't save, but, well, I mean, the only way you can do that, I think, would be to quit the game without saving, but I think it doesn't, like, I think it, like, auto-saves anyway, so, yeah, I don't think there's any getting that back, but that's fine, I don't want it back, I hate the Titanic. But I will build a full-size version. So, if you like this video, please leave a like. Makes sense, really. And if you want to see more, you want to see a full-scale Titanic, or my Star Destroyer that's coming, or the Darth Vader Castle, 
or anything else I might be building or doing. I'm not sure what yet. Then please subscribe. Thank you very much.